Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, big, big news, exciting news today. Um, finally getting the hits back from the machine shop. Shout out to Cole Johnson at Dark Horse Diesel and Machine. He's the one who did my initial machine work on the block and my stock set of heads. So now I had him do some bigger valves and seats on my new big ported heads. And he got my comp cams conical spring set up right. Got the seat pressure and everything dialed in good. Uh, he recessed them in a little bit more for me just so I could run the uh, roller rockers and not have to worry about valve to piston contact, which is always nice. Uh, I'm super excited. The only thing I'm waiting on now is the pump to get back, and I could put the engine back in and hear it make sweet, sweet noises again. I will show you guys the heads once I pick them up, and once I get them back to the shop, I will show you the differences on the new valves. Alright, alright, so, got the new heads sitting here on the bench next to the old heads. The old heads were in great condition, honestly. No cracks, no melted valves, that's just a little scratched from removing it, but no melted valves, no nothing. I had a couple of valve stem seals that looked like they were starting to leak a little bit, but other than that, the old heads were in great condition. I'm gonna keep them around, good set of heads still, with the factory valves, factory port job, all that. So they're just good stock heads. Mm, might even be the ones I port for the new motor. But on to the, the new, new. Oof. Shoo. Look at them. Um, these ones do have the double square pre-chambers with the T on them. These, my old heads, just had the single square here. The smaller NA pre-chambers. And these are just the factory early turbo ones. Not the diamond ones. Um, and with all the guys I have talked to... We seem to think these are actually the better pre-chamber because they are more matched to the um, combustion swirl area on top of the piston itself. So, I'm going to give those a whirl. Maybe the next engine, I will try the diamonds and do some comparisons. But on these heads, I'm going to run the double square pre-chambers. But, get the nice new valve job done. Just the stock intake valve size right now, which is the 1.811. The exhaust valve is where I added a little more, a little more lung to it. Um, they are a factory optioned 6.5 valve, and these are the let me get these Mitiu U's spread out, but these are the 1.653. Sorry, I'm a little shaky, if I can focus here. There are the 1.653. And these are the, as you can see, not even close. These are the factory 1.53, 1.535 to be exact, valve. So that'll help a lot on exhaust flow, especially when we start looking at... <coughs> There we go. Let me grab a flashlight here. You can kind of already see it. Let's look at this stock one. Let's see. Just a stock chamber. Nothing too crazy. Get over to this. Look at that. Nice big port. Nice flowing port. And that goes with all the intakes. And wham. So those the intake the intakes didn't have as much meat I needed to clean out to port match and gasket match. I focused more on port matching so I had good flow throughout instead of just these 
giant openings where the gaskets were and then they taper down real quick. I did a lot of port work, a lot of bowl work, which I took pictures of, but I didn't take any videos of the port, the bowls or anything before I took them to the machine shop, but um, hopefully, honestly, you guys don't get to see that in the near future because hopefully I slap these on and the engine stays together for another season. But let me, I'm going to set the phone down and flip over to the exhaust port so I can show you guys that side of the head. Okay, so I got the heads flipped over here so I can show you guys the exhaust ports, which is where I think all the magic's going to be happening this year. So, got our exhaust port here, nothing to, nothing to write home about. Um, on the exhaust side, it seems like all of the valve stem seals stayed in place. All the ones that were leaking were intakes, and I believe that's due to boost getting past them and just blowing blowing the valve stem seals out. But, yeah, it's a race truck, so that little bit of blue smoke isn't too much of a worry. But like I said, you look at these little guys here, and I actually have my caliper here and we can actually take a measurement it's kind of a crude measurement because it's not a perfect port but look here it's fairly close there's a little bit of exhaust but looks like just under an inch you go over yonder here It's kind of hard to do it in film with just one hand. Not even close. That's almost a, a quarter inch more wide. Well, let's go back this way and I'll show you. It's not even close. So we got there 1.6, almost 1.6, 1.565-ish. Look at that. That's, like I said, another almost quarter inch this way. 1.73 almost on the dot. That's the exhaust is going to be a monster, including that tenth, that tenth of an inch bigger valve, um, the giant ports. This thing is going to be an exhaust flowing monster, along with that S400. It's hoping I didn't really have drive pressure issues at all this year. Is at about 50 pounds of boost. I was right at 50 pounds of drive with the S372. So I'm hoping with the S475 and bigger turbine, I'll be able to flow enough for that big turbine and keep the drive pressure down as well, saving head gaskets and all the good stuff, keep her together. I think that's, I've attributed a lot of my success this year with keeping the engine together has been keeping drive pressure down and cylinder pressures down. I'm gonna come over here. I cleaned up this cylinder, cylinder number two. Just so I can show you the top of the pistons in great condition. A little dirty because I just pulled all the rags off. But not a single issue. No melting around the edges. Like I said, it's a little dirty from pulling the head gasket. But z there is zero blowout from the fire rings at all. They stayed perfect and true. Um, cylinder walls. Got a little water in them from it sitting outside during it snowing. But as you can see, the cross hatch is still just fine. Um, the ridge here is nothing to barely any at all. I'm extremely happy of how the cylinders look, the pistons look. 
all the protrusions are still good this thing is ready for the big heads and some big boost all right guys so that is the update on how the engine is coming so far this winter um, i'm extremely excited to have the heads back um, the pump i just got done talking with the pump builder and the pump is getting assembled as we speak so hopefully it'll be i'll be having flow numbers for that either ugh, either either tomorrow or the next day but i'm also going on family vacation for a week on thursday i will be back in town um, next thursday so i'll be gone a week and after that i will be hopping back on the train here of thrashing to get the motor and the truck back together when I get back, I will have approximately five weeks till our first test and tune at our track. And I would like to have everything together so I can test and tune my truck and see how it's going to treat me this year. Um, I have a friendly grudge race with a few of my buddies at the end of May, our second Friday night street legal drag race. So I would like to have it done by April so I can do my testing and tuning, make sure it's going to hold up. Make sure the 410 gearing that is in my axles is going to be okay for the quarter mile, or if I'm going to have to step down to 373s or keep it in the eighth mile. Um, like this video, guys. Subscribe. Share with all your friends. I'd really like to grow this page. I have about two or three more videos that I'm working on editing, and I might be doing that on the drive out to Pennsylvania for my family vacation. I will have two or three more videos posted up real soon updating you on my steering and suspension and i will keep you guys updated as i hear more about the pump my fuel pump which i have a big surprise coming with that and getting the engine back together thanks guys